Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, let's have a chat about dreams and why it's so important to pay attention to what we dream. For quite some time, I started to become very interested in dreaming, lucid dreaming and so forth. And the first step that everyone recommends if you are walking on this path is to write down every dream that you have and to try to remember every detail of your dreams. So it has been a couple of years now since I started to write down my dreams and I started to see how the subconscious gives us signs, teachings and even premonitions through dreams and I started to learn all these things by just paying attention to what I was dreaming about because my own dreams were my biggest lesson. Let me give you a few examples. I had a cat that I loved very, very much, but unfortunately she passed away. She started to have problems with the food that she was eating, she could not eat, and so forth. And we went to the doctor, they gave her some pills, she got good for a while, but still had problems while eating. Because she still struggled, the vet recommended us to do some additional checks on her at another location where they had all the tools needed to check her internally. The night before the check, I dreamed of a black snake that was sitting on the floor and it was moving backwards. It was moving towards the left side. Usually, the future is on the right side and the past is on the left. Or the direction, uh, the left direction, usually means moving backwards. After I had this dream, after I woke up in the morning, I knew that my cat will be gone soon. Because, you see, the black snake, usually the snake, is the symbol of health and wisdom. However, in my dream, it wasn't moving forward, but backwards. If the snake would have moved towards the right, I am pretty sure that that would have meant healing. Anyway, after dreaming this, I was super agitated but we got the check, the internal check of the cat, and they told us that she is way too older than we thought she was because we adopted her from the streets. And yeah, obviously my cat passed in a few weeks, but after that I started to see her at night. In my mind's eye, how she was walking around the apartment and one night I had this very strange experience where I saw her as I was drifting to sleep, I saw her into the body of a kitten. After two months or so, after my cat passed away, I was walking back home with my husband from our evening walk. And we saw in a garden how someone threw three baby kittens. Like, for real? How can some people do things like this? Anyway, my husband and I went fast and brought some food to these kittens. And we started to feed them when I saw one of the cats. And... I felt that this little kitten was my old cat coming from the dead, back. Anyway, so she looked exactly how I saw her in my dream. It was exactly how I saw her in my dream. Anyway, I got rid of the thought, thinking that I must become crazy to think that my cat, my old cat, actually came back. <laughs> And anyway, we brought the cats home and long story short, we adopted them all. We initially thought that we will just take care of them and then we will give them uh, to somebody else. But they were very calm and sweet. They didn't make any mess at all in the house and we decided to keep the three of them because we will soon move into a bigger house, so we will have enough space for them as well. Now, like I've said, one of those kittens looked 
almost and looks almost identical to my old cat. And as she grew and grew, I and my husband were stunned by the simple fact that she was sitting in the exact same way as my old cat stood. She was having the same habits. She was um, taking a pleasure to sit near my magic books, just like the old cat. Even the way she purrs as she eats her food is the same. None of the other cats purr when they are eating something, but this one does, just like my old cat. Now, the old cat was desperate to sit on my lap at all times. This one as well. The other ones don't even care to sit on my lap, but this one does. Long story short, I pretty much ended up with three cats because of a dream. (laughs) Another example is this. Just a few days ago, my husband was going through some interviews with some companies. He was a little bit agitated because he was expecting uh, them to give him an offer. And one night, I dreamed of multiple piles of fish swimming happily in clear water. And you see, fish usually symbolizes money, winning a job, things like that. And when I woke up, I immediately wrote down the dream, I meditated on the dream, and I concluded that this means that we will receive news very soon uh, that is related to money to a job offer. And in that particular day, actually my husband received a fantastic offer with a fantastic salary. Yep. Another time in my life, I started to feel really bad. I didn't have energy and so forth because I went through a period where I was focusing too much on my job and less on my health and I was not exercising at all. So, in one night, I dreamed that someone was attacking me with some knives. And I woke up and I started to feel very, very bad for the following days. And I just remembered that I dreamed that. I dreamed of someone who was attacking me. Actually, it was a woman who was attacking me with these knives. And I thought that there must be something related to this dream because after I've dreamed this, I was starting to feel even worse. So I meditated on that dream and I just imagined myself in a garden and I summoned that lady with the knives and I asked her why she appeared in my dream and what should I do to heal and get better. And she said that my own system was attacking me because I wasn't taking care mentally of it and neither physically. So I asked her what needs to be done. And various answers came from medicinal plants to exercises uh, to the fact that I had to stop eating on a rush and so forth. So I listened to the advice and I started to become more self-conscious again of what I was eating, what I was doing, what I was imagining and so forth. And I started to really take care of my body and my health. And one night I dreamed that I was beating the hell out of this lady. I kicked her with some spears and she ran away. So that was my dream sign that I actually kicked the sickness out of my system. So these are just a few examples to show you how things may play out for you. But let's see how can we actually take advantage of our dreams in four simple steps. Step number one, write it down. Write down your dreams in your notebook. Step two, you have to notice in your dream signs like things that are out of the ordinary that are unlikely to occur in real life. 
Step three is to interpret your dreams, but not by searching on Google or in a dream dictionary, because your dreams may be personal to you and what you will find on the internet may not be applied to your current situation. So after you wrote your dreams down, I would suggest you to just imagine yourself in a beautiful space, a beach or a garden, and then to recall in that space the dream that you had. Just recall that dream in your imagination and ask directly the persons or the beings that are present in your dream, ask them directly what that dream actually represents. Step four. After your meditation, write down your experience down, write everything down, write down your dream interpretation, uh, write everything down in your notebook and see how can you apply what you have learned from your dreams into your day-to-day life for your betterment. And that's it. Dreams are wonderful tools that we can use as magical practitioners. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Happy dreams.